Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you didn't already know, my name is Lauren and today we're going back into my kitchen for the billionth time again, but this time not for cooking. Today we are going to be testing out the co-cleaning system. I've been wanting to do this for a while now. I have so many co-ads popping up everywhere. I've seen influencers use it, which is so strange because it's like a cleaning product. Like you never see influencers promote a cleaning product. But it's out there and that's what they're doing. So I actually got this for Christmas. I strategically put it on my list for our family Kris Kringle. And I thought, wow, well, Christmas, what a perfect opportunity to get something because I don't want anything else. So I'll leave the co-website down below. This is not sponsored at all. I just really want to try it out because I've seen so many, I don't know, if you've seen a co video, you know what I'm talking about. The way they clean, they're just like, it is the best cleaner I have ever used in my life. But I have gone onto the website and looked up what the ingredients are of this cleaning solution, which is a universal cleaning solution. So kitchen, bathroom, everywhere really. In the FAQs, it says our universal cleaner is a formulation of potassium hydroxide and purified water. But get this, the active ingredient of potassium hydroxide makes up less than 0.5% of the total composition. So am I just paying for water? I mean, it's someone else because I got it as a gift. But is everyone just paying for water or does this actually clean as well as they say it cleans? I'm just preparing to be wowed because most of this is water according to them. So yeah, let's go to my kitchen. So welcome to my disgusting kitchen. Um, as you can see, there are these two splatters in the back. It is tomato sauce, it is not blood. All right, no one died in my kitchen. These splatters have been there for longer than I intended and longer than I would like to admit, but just know that it's been more than a day. Yes, love that splatter action. So I tried to make them as close as possible. I mean, you can't really replicate a splatter to be identical, but what I tried to do was make sure that there were little kind of spots and large big splotches on both sides and a bit of drippage as well. Probably not gonna see my face as much because then you won't see the action, so. These are the two cleaners I'll be testing out. So this is the one I currently use. It's called Earth Choice. You can get it at Woolies. Well, I get it at Woolies. So it's multi-purpose and it's plant-based. And I think it's great because the ingredients are also biodegradable. So this is going to go up against the co-cleaning system. Now this one already wins on spray because ugh, the spray is just so amazing. This is just a new bottle. So I'll be using this bottle that I've already used. And we're going to be using the co-cloths. Yeah, I'm glad that they have two so I can use it with both solutions. So we can really test out the solutions rather than the cleaning cloth. Let's make this side the Earth Choice spray and make this side the co-cleaning spray. On the co-cleaning website, they say to liberally spray and then leave it there for like a couple minutes or whatever. So that's what I'm gonna do with both sprays. So start with the co-cleaning one. Yeah. Fire at that spray, so satisfying. And now we're gonna do the Earth Choice over here. So I'm gonna let that sit for a bit. I can already, the smell of the Earth Choice one, is, it's a nice smell, but it instantly made my nose tingle and the other one doesn't have a scent, which is great, I guess, for people who are maybe more sensitive to scents or whatever. Now we'll say that the Earth Choice one does get quite soapy, which is something I don't like about it. But the ingredients are biodegradable, so it's worth it in the end. Um, it's just kind of annoying. It gets that kind of like soapy and sudsy effect. I think we've waited long enough, so let's get back into action with the cleaning. Now, I have to remember which cloth is which, so I'm gonna chuck, you know what, I'm gonna put Earth Choice over there, and this over here. Okay, so I watched the tutorial on how to use the cloth, because apparently there's a special way to use it, but apparently there isn't. But they did say the best way to use it is to fold it in for, and use it dry, so they say never wet the cloth unless you're washing it basically. So here it is. In four, let's go to the cove side. Wow, that was pretty good. Okay, so that was just a few swipes and it did pretty well in just 
a few swipes. So let's go and quickly do that on the Earth Choice side so it doesn't get more time to marinate. Oh, look at that. Kind of the same thing happening. Interesting. So what I've seen is that both of them have completely erased the small spots and left the bigger blotches. So I might go in again. Oh, what a satisfying spray. Just do a few sprays over there. And while it's actually just doing its thing, I might do like a few rubs. I'm using my left hand, why? So it's getting more off, but not quite the thicker spot. Oh, that thick spot underneath on the bottom got came off. So yeah, those spots are kind of stuck, I guess. Let's go on this side quickly. Basically, I went over this spot so many times. Maybe let's try again. Let's try again without spraying it. Maybe did I just not wipe well enough? Oh, it's coming off. Kind of. Look, in my opinion, the Earth Choice side looks cleaner than the Co side. I mean, like, the Co side has left, I don't know if you can tell, like up here, there's like spots of kind of just like residue I mean uh, let me get my other camera so I can show you what I mean got my camera and I don't know can you see here this is the coast side I was wiping and you can kind of see lots of like swipey marks but also there's like I don't know if you can see it properly see all those dots it's like the residue of the thing and it kind of happened on the Earth Choice side as well, but just not as bad. Yeah, can you see those dots? They're like larger pieces. But, you know, it's still... Mm, I don't know how I feel. So it's definitely interesting, but... I don't know. I might do like a final kind of like clean, just wipe down extra spray to make it shinier. first. I'll use the cleaner side of the thing. Nice and shiny. I like it. Her side. Let's go other side of the cloth that's clean. Mm, there's still like that residue. What is up with that? Okay, that's the splashback. I mean, to be honest, not very impressed. I mean, I guess it's meant to be eco-friendly and whatever, but in the end, this, it does a better job in my opinion. So, next test. So here's my lovely stove top, which has just lots of this residue on it. I didn't plan this. This kind of just is a result of cooking, but what I'm gonna do is one side with Earth Choice and one side with Co, and then do the same thing and hopefully it will clean and I'll probably get this little edge with the co one just because this is a bigger area and just because there's like less of an area here I'm gonna do this kind of side with the co as well hopefully I can be a bit precise with it let's go and you can see the sudsiness of that and not of the co one. But it's so satisfying. Another great thing with this bottle as well is that they have recently changed it so you can kind of spray it anyway. You know how I was having trouble with this spray? You need to make sure you find where like the little that little nubbin plastic piece is so it sits in the liquid so you can spray. Otherwise, if not, then you spray out absolutely nothing because it's not sucking up anything. 
Whereas this, they have changed it so you can spray in any direction that you want. The little tube thing inside is actually like flexible. So when you turn it upside down, it kind of sinks and uses the product that's in here as well, which is very absolutely genius. The bottle honestly is the selling point for me. So I've made sure to flip these inside out. So it was the other way before. That's the residue and then I flipped it this way. So yeah, let's start with the Earth Choice side first. I've got the cloth. I think I'm just gonna... Wow, look at that. Little to no effort right there. That's, that's actually insane. I didn't think my Earth Choice one was that good. Okay, like in the end, these cleaning products could basically do the same thing. Let's go on to the coat side. Aha! Yeah, the proof is in the pudding, guys. It's not fully off. I mean, I don't know if that was from like a tougher stain, but this side just looks cleaner than this side. Is it just me? Well, then there we go, that's, that's that. Well then, interesting. Interesting indeed. Co against Earth Choice. What is my honest opinion? My honest opinion is that this is a complete and total cash grab. And let me just explain myself before you get at me in the comments. I understand completely what they're trying to do. They're trying to be more eco-friendly. They're trying to make sure it's safe for the family, for the home. They're trying to use less harsh chemicals, which is all well and great. But if you ask me the way that they have, you know, kind of advertised this, they have sponsored influencers to talk about their product and promote their product. And for the fact that it's mostly water, um, I'm sorry, but no, I, I totally get that they're trying to reduce the amount of chemicals they use, which is great. But if you're paying for something that has only 0.5% of the actual cleaning solution and the rest of it is water, what, what are you paying for? Water? I can clean anything with water. I have water in my home. I mean, I'll definitely keep using the atomizer. I love the atomizer. Look, I don't know. I, uh, yeah, look, to me, it's a cash grab. Um, and let me explain myself a bit. So I have recently seen a lot of ads from CEOs of companies that have been males. And I'm not trying to play on stereotypes or anything here. It's just what I believe and what I see. But the co-cleaning system was founded by a male. And I also want to talk about some other companies like High Smile, Males, another company. But it's those pink clay masks that everyone has been raving about. Males. In my opinion, I think, and I'm not trying to be all feminist or anything, I don't care for that stuff. I'm not trying to be political at all. It's just what I see is that these men have found a great way and opportunity to make a lot of money. And that is by targeting the sector that women usually dominate. So like cleaning. I mean, I know that we're trying to get away from stereotypes, but if you're being completely fully honest, probably mostly see women cleaning the house or finding better cleaning products for their families. You see women trying to make their teeth wider and brighter. I mean, that is a male thing as well, but you mostly see women wanting to do that. <coughs> women love doing face masks. I mean, I love doing face masks. I am part of this group of women. I've honestly seen so many CEOs like coming up and doing ads for their companies. They are all men starting up companies who have women as the target audience. And we all know us women love to shop and all that kind of stuff. So I think that the co-company honestly fall in this category, which is kind of sad because when I did do the cleaning, it wasn't the best. It was all right, but again, it's 99.5% water. So I don't know. I don't know. That's just my opinion. So my other camera died. I'm just going to use my vlog camera. I feel like I was right in being skeptical. 
It's not as amazing as they try to show it to be. They are doing some innovative work, but just not with the cleaning solution. This bottle, spray bottle, love it. Totally innovative. Um, but yeah, the cleaning solution is just a no for me. Didn't clean nearly as well. I mean, I had to go over it again. So the Earth Choice I need to spray once. If I need to spray this a second time, I'm using more product, which means I need to buy more product. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it was helpful. Um, sorry for being so negative at the start of 2021. Oof, we can only go up from here, right? <laughs> Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and make sure to ring the bell icon so you know every time that I post. I do post every Friday fortnight at 5.30 p.m. Thank you again so much for watching and I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are. Bye!